Hey creators, welcome back to Creator Best Life for a brand new video. I'm Kimani and for those of you that don't know me, I am a screenwriter and producer in the indie space and I also love all things creative. Today we're doing another review and that is for The Burial. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, how y'all doing? All y'all that don't know who I am, my name is Willie Gary. Willie Gary. Willie Gary. William Gary. Never heard of him. What's so special about this guy anyway? The Burial is a film that premiered in October on Amazon Prime. Let me read you the logline. Y'all already know I have my film and TV journal. I write in this thing every single time I watch a TV show or a movie and write down my thoughts, write down where I was, who I was with when I watched it, and then my general thoughts, logline, memorable quotes, anything about the actors or the, the characters themselves, my favorite scene, stuff like that. And it's just nice to look back on to see what you've watched over the past year. Okay, now we're gonna read the logline. Inspired by true events, a lawyer helps a funeral homeowner save his family business from a corporate behemoth, exposing a complex web of race, power, and injustice. And I'm not talking about no bullshit either. I'm talking about some John claude Van Damme ass kicking shit. So a little bit about the type of film this is and the actors and characters that are here. This is a drama, it was filmed in the USA. The story was by Doug Wright and based on the burial book by Jonathan Haar and it was directed by Maggie Betts. I'm not super familiar with Maggie Betts, but she did a phenomenal job, so I can't wait to watch more of her projects. Our characters include Jamie Foxx, who plays Willie Gary. He's a very unconventional lawyer, dressed to the nine, full of sass. Then we have Tommy Lee Jones playing Jerry O'Keefe, who is the funeral home owner. We also have Journey Smollett, who plays Mamie Downs, who happens to be the opposing lawyer that goes toe to toe with Jamie Lee Foxx's character, Willie Gary. We have Mamadou Athi, who plays Hal Dawkins, an associate lawyer who Jerry brings on. Alan Ruck plays Mike Allred, another lawyer on the team, who also happens to be Jerry's friend. And Bill Camp, who plays our antagonist, Raymond Lowen, who owns the company that wants to take Jerry's company over. Let's get down to it then. Y'all come on in. The film started out strong. I was thoroughly impressed with the way that it started out. It tugged on the heartstrings. We see this older gentleman, Jerry O'Keefe, who is celebrating his birthday. His wife is there, his kids, all his grandkids. They share how many grandkids he has, which is an obscene amount of people. I just like, can you imagine giving that many Christmas gifts? <laughs> That's insane. But he owns a business. So his one goal is he notices he's getting older. He wants to make sure that his family is taken care of when he eventually passes away so that for generations to come, they've got that wealth that they can hold on to and don't have to worry about it. The introduction of Willie Gary's character was also amazing. I think that they did a great job of depicting how I won't say flamboyant, but just outrageous, loud, colorful. This man was in all types of colored suits and it didn't seem like something that a lawyer would wear. We all know that lawyers wear black, blue, gray, <laughs> stuff like that. But this man was in like purple, pink, all types of colors and I loved it. Who says you can't dress the way that you feel? It shouldn't matter, but it played to how big his character was. And Jamie Foxx did a phenomenal job bringing this character to life because he was just so funny and you could tell this guy was supposed to be from the South and it, it, it was great. I wasn't familiar with the original story because it was based on a true story, but it definitely got me interested. He drew me in, they did a great job bringing that moment to life. While we're talking about characters, I think that each character was very distinct I think they all had their own voice and the actors brought their characters to life very well. Even Mike, you could see initially the way that he was talking to Hal that he was probably racist. You could see that he had definitely some biases and you could also see the distinction between him and Jerry. They were total opposites. Jerry didn't care. He cared about people, but mainly he cared about his family and he just wanted whoever was right for the job. Now, when the story started to be directly about race, which you realize very quickly that it is, not only because of the way that Mike acted towards Hal, which was, you know, for that time, that area, it kind of makes sense. But also, because the story was based in 1995, but also the story turned out to be definitely about race because of this giant conglomerate was targeting poor black and brown communities. I love that this was based on a true story because now I can investigate more and learn more about the story and the people that were affected. And I really, truly hope that 
they actually were compensated for their troubles because the whole point of the story was they were unveiling the truth of these black people in these smaller communities were being completely taken advantage of charged three times the rate of what was supposed to be the cost for their funeral arrangements and how this company didn't even try to hide it at all it was very much so in your face and at the end of the film they wrote a snippet of how much exactly was awarded to the community and i just really truly hope that the community was able to get that money back because they were not only being taken advantage of by the conglomerate but the conglomerate was hiring people within their own community specifically church members and leaders in the church to sell this merchandise to their church members and it was making people go bankrupt all to get their families buried i think the story was very heartfelt it made us have sympathy and empathy for this business owner a lot of us have our own businesses and we understand what it's like a lot of us have older people in our families who own businesses or just have a retirement or maybe they don't have a retirement and just want to make sure that their family and loved ones are taken care of not only now but when they pass and that's something that we all can relate to because the one thing that is sure for all of us is that once we're born we're gonna die at some point and thank god that so many of us are able to have long full lives and we're able to care for the people in our lives while we're still here but the fact that it's so hard to do so especially in this country when insurance is so high and everything is so high really and like why does it cost thousands of dollars to put your family in the box? It just does not make sense to me. That That is like my one qualm. I have a lot of qualms actually, but that's like a specific thing that I really have issue with is that there should be no reason why this box costs this much money just so that we can put some money in the ground. Give me something that's compostable. The body is compostable. Let's get it over with. We're already sad, let's celebrate their life. I think that it was also great that the story provided a lot of comical relief because it, could be a very heavy story. We're talking about race, we're talking about death and legacy and someone potentially losing their business, they're suing this big company, they're probably gonna lose. And so the, he's essentially the little guy, you know, the mom and pop shops always get bought out and that's why it's so important for us to support these mom and pop shops and small business owners. We all know somebody, so if you could do that, it's the holiday season, do that for the people in your community and your family. But back to the comedic relief, it was funny to see the dynamic of Tommy Lee Jones and Jamie Foxx because Jamie Foxx is definitely a comedian and we know Tommy Lee Jones from movies like Men in Black where he was also having the comedic banter as his character. So to see them go neck and neck was very entertaining. I think that Jamie Foxx was just delightfully hilarious per usual his mannerisms his voice inflections and i'm so appreciative that he also was a producer on the project i need to look up the rest of the producers to see who else potentially might have been black there were so many black characters in this film and the moments were so nuanced to black people and how we interact with each other it was freaking hilarious i just loved the dialogue like even when Mamadou came to ask Willie Gary and his team to join Jerry's lawyer team. The fact that he was like kicking him out the office like, we don't do that, that's not the kind of lawyers we are. And it was just a great time. And he's like leaning back in his chair, he kicks his feet up on the desk, like just the whole performance of it. And it was just the little things that he would do and say that made us laugh. And then his partner was echoing him. And it's just something that we do with each other and for each other and I, it's just a good time. I think that they did that so well. And you could tell that Jamie Foxx had a hand in making that moment. And just the fact that, like, I just think black people are so funny. Like, our comedy is top tier. It, it's hilarious. Outside of the comedic relief, like I said, this is a heavy story. So one moment we're cracking up, laughing along with Jamie Foxx. The next moment we are sad because we feel sorry for Jerry O'Keefe. And then the next moment we're enraged because this black community is being screwed over. Surprise, surprise. And it was just an emotional roller coaster. And that's the kind of feeling that I want to feel when I'm watching a movie, especially a movie that is based on a true story, because we can't just sit in the heavy, but we also can't just only laugh at stuff like it's got to be some substance and they really brought the substance with this project they even wrote it in a way where you kind of sympathize with mike allred's character because you already know that this man is racist he's already proven that he's racist at this point through his dialogue through his mannerisms and then we find out that his grandfather was a member of the kkk that's some real crazy ish right so the fact that now we feel a little sorry for this guy because like he's being ganged up on, he's not really being ganged up on. There's 
definitely reason for black people to be upset with him the black characters to be upset with him because he was like sympathizing he's like well what do you want me to do he's my grandfather sure you can love your grandfather that's true but he was wrong and so are you so i like that that moment was acknowledged because both can exist at the same time i think that people are very complex um and i'm not making excuses for anybody but you can love someone and also still correct their behavior or at least critique it and leave it for them to correct their behavior. Um, and I thought that that was an interesting moment. I'm not saying whether it was good or bad. It was just very interesting for me. And I'll just say that it did not leave a bad taste in my mouth. I think that it was executed in a very human way. All in all, I thought that this story was about a few things. Unlikely friendship, humility, and justice. Willie Gary was humbled in this film because like I said, he had this huge ego and he had to be knocked down a couple of pegs because part of the time he was making it about him and it didn't have to be about him and winning. It was about proving a point, seeking justice for wrongdoings. And that's the lesson that he needed to learn in the story. Like I said, it was an absolute joy to see Jamie Foxx in a movie again. I know that I did a review on They Clone Tyrone, which he was in, and he's always freaking hilarious. But to see him in, this wasn't even a serious, <laughs> this wasn't a serious role. Like it, it, it was a drama, but he was the comedic relief, I must say. And it, he did a great job. You could tell that he leans on drama a lot when he plays his characters, but there's always something funny that he does. And I just, I think that he just does it so well. Tommy Lee Jones, I said as well, he's drama, but he also brings some comedic relief as well. And I, I think that he does it so seamlessly as Mamadou Athi, he brought a little bit of comedy. He leaned more on the drama, but I think that he did a phenomenal job as well. I also was pleasantly surprised and or maybe not surprised, but it was just really satisfying to see two hotshot lawyers, which were Willie Gary and, and Journey Smollett's character, Mamie Downs. They went toe to toe and you could tell Ego was involved. Like they just the way that they met Eagle was involved. And so the fact that they had two black lawyers go against each other in a tasteful way. And the reason I say tasteful is because oftentimes in movies and films, specifically by white creators, they tend to make the black people compete with each other because, hey, it can only be one of us there. And that's stems from slavery, obviously, because that's what they used to have us do on the plantations. And it was always depicted in shows and movies. And I'm just glad that the way that it was done, they went toe to toe. Yes, someone lost. They congratulated each other and looked forward to working together again. And I thought that that was such a great, beautiful way to show that yes, there can be competition, but it doesn't have to be nasty. Something else that I noticed about this film that I was also pleasantly surprised about was that this was not a white savior moment. We often see that in these racially themed projects. Think like The Help, Emma Stone's character saved the day. And like the poor black people were, you know, so grateful for her courage. And <laughs> in this moment, the black people saved the day, which happens more often than not. Like black people save the votes in the United States. And I just thought that that was such a great moment that Willie Gary's character and his team they all were able to get jerry o'keefe's money back and help him win his lawsuit so here's our favorite part y'all all in all i think that this was a great story like i said i love that it was based on a true story so that i can do more research and learn more on my own and hopefully you guys are able to do that too if you are interested in this film now what would i rate it i would give it because i didn't feel like there were any holes and i felt very satisfied from beginning to end, all of my questions were answered, I would rate this a five out of five. And I know that I give a lot of projects a five out of five, but I think that it was well done. The plot was great. It was probably really helpful because it was based on a book already, which was also based on a true story. So I, like I said, I, I was just satisfied. It, it made sense from beginning to end. The characters were great, costumes were great. I loved the locations, the visuals were amazing. Like even when they went to the old burial ground of slaves, it was a mass grave. They were able to acknowledge the dead black people of that area who had passed away on that plantation and that 
in that field. I thought it was really beautiful. I, I loved the relationship between Willie Gary and his wife. They were great comedic relief. I think that she really brought that character to life in support of that marriage unit and even her interactions with Jerry were hilarious and I feel like because the story had racial themes it wasn't done in a way where it was too heavy like I said so it was pal I won't say palatable because we need movies and shows that are in your face but sometimes you just don't want to see trauma and I think that they did this in a very beautiful way where we learned more about the history and we can hopefully learn from our mistakes and hopefully get rid of these conglomerates that just prey on people, specifically black and brown people, but also get us to invest and support small businesses, like I said, and they just really did a great job. So yeah, that was the Vario. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Those were my initial thoughts. I'll probably have more later. If you wanna talk about the Vario, please comment below and we can have a discussion. Hopefully you watched it. Let me know what you thought. We can swap ideas and thoughts on it. All in all, it was a great film. The team did an amazing job. And while we're here, I wanted to talk a little bit about the future of these reviews. So I was really thinking about and discussing with friends about how to use myself to be of service to other people and not let ego get in the way of creating and working with others. And I think I've done a pretty good job thus far, but I wanna go a bit further. So with that said, I'm thinking that I want to go on Tubi and also reach out to other indie filmmakers, particularly filmmakers of color, to help elevate their stories and get their stories out there. So my idea basically is to review other creators of color and people from underrepresented communities. I wanna watch your stuff. I want to give an honest opinion and create community and just, you know, elevate our creatives in our communities and, and help each other get better in our crafts, in our careers. And I hope that that's something that you guys are interested in. So with that being said, if you are an independent filmmaker, creator, writer, and you have a proof of concept, short film, pilot episode, feature film, whether it's on Tubi, YouTube, Vimeo, whatever, you got a link, not so much a Google link, but Vimeo, YouTube, something on streaming, hopefully. If you have that online and you want me to look at it, give my honest opinion, do a review on it and help you elevate your project and market it to other people, I would love to do that. Please send me the link to my Instagram or you can post the link in the comments for other people to watch it, I will do that. And don't forget, if it's not your project up at that time, please comment, give some notes, give some critiques, say that you love it or not. Hopefully you do love it and let's just help, you know, establish this community, cultivate this community so that we can grow together. So if you're interested in that, please send it to me, DM me, post it down in the comments. I will watch your stuff, do a review. That's all I have for you guys. I look forward to creating more reviews for you and I hope that it is a fun challenge to do together to cultivate our community on Creator Best Life. And if you did like this video and you're looking forward to more of these, please give me a thumbs up, please share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe so you let me know that I'm doing a great job. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, hopefully by the end of the year. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm being very optimistic, so tell your friends. And I can't wait to talk to you guys in a brand new video. Bye guys. Stop it. What do you wanna see? Hmm? <laughs>